Welcome back, kindergarten friends. My name is Miss Cindy, and I'm so excited that you decided to join me again today for my kindergarten reading class. Our lessons are taken from the Tennessee Foundational Skills Curriculum Supplement. And these are our objectives for today. The items you will need for today's lesson are a ball or a bean bag or any small object. It could be the one that you used yesterday. And also a small crayon. If you do not have these two objects, you might want to pause the recording for now and go and find those two objects and bring them back and then we'll be ready to start today's lesson. Lesson two is focused on environmental noises. If you remember from yesterday, environmental noises are all the sounds that we hear around us. For example, in yesterday's lesson, I could hear a clock ticking. I also heard some noises outside. And then you listened in your bedroom to hear what noises or environmental noises you could hear in your house. You might hear the washing machine. You might hear a car going by your house. All of those things are environmental noises. noises. And to be able to differentiate or tell the difference in those noises will actually help us when we start to learn to read. Our first activity for today is a warm-up. Similar to yesterday's activity, we will be counting raising one finger for each number. I'll do the first, I'll do one for you. One two, three, four, five. I'll do it more slowly this time. Ready? Do it with me. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. Want to try it again a little more quickly this time? One, two, three, four, five. Awesome, awesome. We're getting much quicker with those. Our next activity for today is the knocking and counting game from yesterday. Remember yesterday, I would knock on my desk and we would count those knocks with our fingers. Let's try that again today. Ready? I'll knock. And after each knock, we'll put up one finger. All of our fingers are down. Ready? How many knocks did you hear? Three. One, two, three. Terrific. Let's try another one. Ready? Listen really closely. How many did you hear that time? One, two, three, four. Four knocks that time. Fantastic. Four knocks. Last one for today. Are you ready? Get your hands up. All of our fingers are down. Ready? How many knocks that time? Five knocks. Magnificent. You are, you are really getting to be able to distinguish those different sounds and putting our fingers up. What a great job. What a great job. The next activity for today is our same and different game. And for that, I brought back our instruments. If you remember yesterday, I had three instruments. The first was the sandbox. We may 
make the noise by rubbing those together. It'll sound like this. The second was a maraca, and it sounds like this. The third was a tambourine, and the tambourine sounds like this. So let's play the same and different game. Remember, if the sounds are the same, we're going to give thumbs up. And if they're different, we're going to give thumbs down. Same, different. Same sounds, different sounds. Are you ready? Here are our first two sounds. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. Were those two sounds the same or different? That's right. Those two sounds were the same. They sounded the same. They were both the sand blocks. Was the first sound? Was the second sound? And those are the same sound. Ready to listen again? Two more sounds coming at you. Here's our first sound. Here's our second sound. Same or different? What do you think? Hmm. Those two sounds were different sounds, weren't they? Those were different. Fabulous, fabulous. We're being able to hear those sounds that are the same and the sounds that are different. Ready for the next one? Same or different. First sound. Second sound. That one's a little trickier. You want to hear them again? First sound. Second sound. That's right. Marvelous. Those sounds were different sounds. The first was the maraca. And the second was the tambourine. Which are different sounds. Ready for another one? First sound. Oops, sorry. First sound. Second sound. Same or different? What are you thinking? That's right. Those sounds were the same sounds. Excellent. Excellent. Put my music instruments away here. Next, we're ready for our next activity is our greeting. Remember yesterday? When I said, if we weren't on a video and you actually walked into my classroom, I would walk up to you, I would put out my right hand, and we would shake and I would greet you. When we use our right hand to shake and to greet, our other hand we're not using, so it's what's left. So this is our right hand. The other hand is what's left. So let's practice that. Ready? We'll pretend that we're shaking hands. And I'll say, good morning, my kindergarten friend. I'm so glad you came to my class today. Now, would you like to shake my hand? Ready? You can greet me. Good morning, Miss Cindy. Ready? Great job. Outstanding. So each day we will greet each other using our right hand. This will help us get used to which hand is our right hand. Awesome. <laughs> Hear my maraca roll? <laughs> our next game is the follow me game. This one was fun yesterday. So grab your ball or whatever item you've chosen. It might have been a can from your pantry, or a water bottle, or a bean bag, or maybe a ball. 
So grab your item and let's position our ball in these places. First one, I want you to move the ball to the top of your head. Move the ball to the top of your head like this. Great job! Now the ball is on the top of your head. Say that with me. The ball is on the top of my head. Outstanding. Next, lift your foot. Get your balance. Lift your foot and move the ball down to the bottom of your foot like this. This is the bottom. Now, say this with me. The ball is on the bottom of my foot. Say it with me. The ball is at the bottom of my foot. Fabulous, fabulous. You're doing great. I know it's hard to hold your balance like that. The next one, we're going to raise our arms sideways. Ready for that one? Raise your arm sideways and place the ball over your arm. Over your arm. Now say it with me. The ball is over my arm. Again, the ball is over my arm. Great job. The next one, raise your arm sideways again and move the ball under your arm. Move the ball under your arm like this. Magnificent! What a great job! Repeat with me now. The ball is under my arm. Again, the ball is under my arm. One more time. The ball is under my arm. Great job. For the next one, move the ball to the right side of your body like this. Move the ball to the right side of your body like this. Terrific! Terrific! Now, repeat with me. The ball is on the right side of my body. Again, the ball is on the right side of my body. Awesome! Awesome! Finally, move the ball to the other side of your body. Move the ball to the other side of your body like this. Now repeat with me. The ball is now on the other side of my body. Again, the ball is now on the other side of my body. What a marvelous job you do with that activity today. We're so much quicker today with those. These position words will help us today when we start to write using our crayon later on in today's lesson. These words will help us know where on the page the directions are asking us to look. Next, we're going to do some introductions. Um, as we introduced ourselves in our greeting today, we're going to introduce our fingers, these fingers, to our thumb. Where's our thumb? There's our thumb. Where's your thumb? There it is. This is our thumb, and we need to introduce these fingers to our thumb. Ready? So we're going to take each finger and we're going to touch the fingertip to the fingertip of our thumb and we're going to say hello. 
Ready? So they're going to greet each other like we greeted each other earlier. So, hello, pointer finger. Hello, thumb. Hello, tall man. Hello, thumb. Hello, ring finger. Hello, thumb. Hello, pinky. Hello, thumb. So these are our fingers and the names are pointer, thumb, first of all, our thumb, our pointer finger, our tall man or our middle man, some people say, our ring finger, and what's this one? That's right, that's our pinky finger, pinky. So I promised you yesterday that we would sing a song today. Some of you may already know this song. The song is, Where is Thumbkin? Do you know that song already? Marvelous. Let me get us some music going. And we will sing, Where is Thumbkin? Put your hands behind your back. You ready? We'll pull out each one as they say it. Where is Thumbkin? Where is Thumbkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. you run away. Run away. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? You've sat so still and been so attentive, paid attention so nicely today. We have one last activity, and that is our drawing time activity. So to do that, I'm going to grab my crayon. I'm going to get my correct grip. So I'm going to lay it in my hand. I'm going to use these two fingers and my thumb to pinch the crayon and to pull it up from. So now it looks like this. Then comes the tricky part. I'm going to take this finger and I'm going to slide it under the bottom so that my crayon can rest on my middle finger. Then I have the perfect grip for writing. So let's go back here to our chart paper. And before we start writing, let's talk about some of those position words from our follow me activity today. So we put the ball on top of our head. So if this is the top of my head, where is the top of my paper? That's right. This is the top of my paper. The top of my paper. Can you point to the top of my paper? Fabulous. That's the top of my paper. That's correct. How about the bottom of my paper? If we put the ball under the bottom of our foot, where would the bottom of my paper be? That's correct. This is the bottom of my paper. Magnificent. Can you point to the bottom of my paper? 
There it is. That's right. This is the bottom. This is the right side of my paper. Where's the right side of my paper? Can you point to it? Terrific. That's correct. This is the right side of my paper. And this is the left side of my paper. Where's the left side of my paper again? Can you point to it for me? Magnificent! This is the left side of my paper. Today, we will be drawing vertical lines. And a vertical line just means that it's a line that goes up and down on our paper. So a vertical line starts at the top. Where was the top again? Can you show me? Point to it for me. That's right. The top is here. And we're going to go from the top of the paper. If I hold my crayon. We're going to start at the top of my paper. We're going to go down the paper to the bottom of the paper. And this top to bottom line is a vertical line. We could do more vertical lines. Starting at the where? At the top and going to the bottom. And we could continue making vertical lines across our paper from the top down to the bottom. These lines, making these lines, will help us when we start writing letters and when we start um, writing things on our paper later. As I promised, that was our last activity for today. This afternoon, if you like, you can take your crayon, get a piece of paper, and practice drawing those vertical lines. That's all for today. I'll see you again real soon. Bye, friends. In these lessons, there are a, a section called Sounds First, Sounds First Activities. These activities are designed to expose students to a range of listening activities and games that will develop the oral discrimination and better prepare the students for that direct instruction that they will experience in, in future units. So let's go ahead and get started with our very first Sounds First activity for today. This activity is called Feel the Rhyme. Feel the Rhyme. And as we say these different rhymes, I encourage you to move or to sway or to do something so that you can kind of feel the rhyme. Dance if you would like. Um, you can sit down. You can stand up. But for these activities, we're going to try to fill the rhyme. So the way we'll do these activities, I'll say the sentence, and then uh, you will repeat the sentence back to me. Then I'll say two specific words that rhyme, and then you'll repeat those words back to me. Ready? Sound, say, sound easy enough? The first sentence is, I threw my ball against the wall. I threw my ball against the wall. Can you say it with me? I threw my ball against the wall. Great job. Ball, wall. Those two words. Ball, wall. The next sentence, a little mouse ran to his house. A little mouse ran to his house. Say that with me. A little mouse ran to his house. Mouse, house. Repeat those with me. Mouse, house. 
great job. The next sentence. <clears throat> I saw a bee land on my knee. Say it with me. I saw a bee land on my knee. B, knee. Repeat those with me. B, knee. Great job. Next sentence. Will you please run up that hill? Say it with me. Will you please run up that hill? That's in five words. Will. Hill. Repeat those with me. Will. Hill. Great job. Last sentence. Ready? Did you see that pig wearing a bright pink wig? Did you see that pig wearing a bright pink wig? Say it with me. Did you see that pig wearing a bright pink wig? Our words are pig, wig. Say those with me. Pig, wig. Awesome, awesome.